Welcome! In this video, we'll be solving trigonometric equations involving sine part 1. Let's take a look at our first example. Example 1. Solve the equation given below for theta greater than or equal to 0 but less than 2 pi. We're given the equation negative square root of 2 is equal to 2 times sine of theta. Our first goal is to get the sine of theta by itself. To do so, let's divide both sides by 2. Now, after we divide by 2, notice that this 2 is cancelled, so we get that sine of theta is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Now, keeping in mind that y is equal to r sine of theta, and that we're dealing with the unit circle, that is the circle centered at the origin with the radius equal to 1, we have that y is equal to sine of theta. So here, what we're looking for is for angles whose y-coordinate is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. So let's take a look at our unit circle. Now, looking at the y-coordinates, one can see that this particular point has a y-coordinate of negative square root of 2 over 2, and also this particular point has a y-coordinate of negative square root of 2 over 2. Now, we're looking at the given angles corresponding to that y-coordinate. In this case, we have that one of the angles is equal to 5 pi over 4, and the other angle is equal to 7 pi over 4. So those are our two solutions for this equation. So one can say that theta could be either 5 pi over 4 or 7 pi over 4. Let's take a look at another example. Example 2. Solve the equation given below for theta greater than or equal to 0, but less than 2 pi. Once again, our ultimate goal for now is to isolate the sine of theta. To do that, let's go ahead and add 4 to both sides of the equation. This leaves you with 0 is equal to 2 times sine of theta. Now, dividing by 2 on both sides to isolate the sine of theta, we get the following equivalent expression or equation in this case. Sine of theta is equal to 0. Now, we're looking for any angles between 0 inclusive and 2 pi exclusive that will have a sine of theta equal to 0. In other words, we're looking for all the angles whose y-coordinate is equal to 0. So looking at that, we see that the only angles between 0 and 2 pi that will have a y-coordinate equal to 0 happen to be 0 and also pi radians. Therefore, our solutions are 0 comma pi radians. And this is how we solve basic trigonometric equations involving sine. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.